Let me get it one more time. Oh, uh, yay, yay! Man, I'm so honored to be here. You know, uh, it's a great day. I want to thank, you know, everybody in the city of Los Angeles, city of Hollywood, everybody that had anything to do with uh, me getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, you don't get here by yourself. And uh, when, you, when you're coming up doing music, movies, just trying to be creative, you, uh, you never figure you'll be uh, on the Hollywood Walk of Fame one day. So, today is not really about Ice Cube. It's about all the people who helped me get here. So I wanna acknowledge some of the people that y'all might not know, some y'all might know, that helped me get here. Because I think it's important on these days to recognize the people you, you don't see all the time. Um, first, I want to start off with my family, my mother and my father, Doris Jackson, Hosey Jackson. Thank you, Mama, for always supporting whatever I wanted to do, whether you uh, was with it or not. <laughs> He said, as long as it kept you off the street, you can do it. Thank you to my father for always being there. A lot of guys don't have their fathers around. And if you want to make a man like this, stay around your sons, stay around your kids. I want to thank my brothers and sisters, Clyde Jackson, for teaching me how to rumble in these streets out here. So. We know how it is. Y'all know how it is. I want to thank my sister, Pat, for showing me all the things the grown folks wouldn't. <laughs> so I can know the game. Um, my other sister, Sophie, for always looking out for us and always down to fight for the family. Then I want to move to my wife, Kim, who... She's been everything to me, you know, from a homegirl, to a muse, to a wife, to a confidant. She's been everything, you know, she's been a great mother to my kids and a great inspiration to the family. I want to thank my kids, Daryl, who, he's like me, you know what I mean? He don't take too much shit. Uh, my other son, Shay, extremely proud of him and what he's doing. And, and I've always been, without a movie, I've been proud of him. He's one of the funniest guys in our family. Karima. Karima is, she's like a backbone to our family. You know, she's solid as a rock and she's always smart, kind, and very, very, very special. Sharif, this is my guy, this is my guy. He's, he's hardcore like me. We love him because he stands on his own two feet. I'm gonna move through a few names real quick because, you know, I know they, they told me I got two minutes, but they knew damn well I wasn't going to hear that. I want to thank all my homies on Van Wick Street. Woo! Shout out to the homies! Who taught me how to, to keep it real. Who taught me how to stand up for myself. Not be no punk. Right. I want to thank my team. I want to thank Brother Ron. He's my left and my right hand man. I want to thank people. Real OG. That's with us. That's always got words of inspiration. I want to thank Rob. Robert Red, he's been behind the scenes for years helping me with music, entertainment. Anything I need Rob to do, he's there. And I appreciate that. I appreciate Star, who definitely makes sure we keep it hood in our crew. And we don't get to, excuse the expression, Hollywood. 
Mark, who's new with us. We loved your father, Big Hurt. Mark, you great with us. Rest in peace, Big Hurt. I want to mention my homeboy, partner in crime, Dub C. Been down with me since I was knee high to a horse fly. Dub C, man. I can't imagine being anywhere without you by my side. I can rock any stage in the world, any crowd, long as I got Dub C by my side. And rest in peace, Crazy Tune. He's not here with us, but we love you too. Now let's move to the reason why I'm here, the start, the beginning. I want to shout out to Sir Jinx. Thank you. He taught me how to rap on beat. I was rapping, I was a cappella, I was dope. You put a beat under me, I couldn't find it. So Jinx worked with me. He helped me become uh, a great rapper, man, uh, and I and, and I love him for that. KD, the homeboy, we went through junior high, high school together, and he was, you know, one of my best friends in the world. I love you to death, but I gotta give it up to the Pied Piper. I gotta give it up to the guy who was a genius. <laughs> From day one, y'all yeah, yeah. gotta give it up for Dr. Dre. We all here. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Man, boy, your family tree is. Woo. <laughs> I love you, Dre, man. Thank you for letting me hang around you, man. You know, 15 year old kid ditching school to hang around Dr. Dre. And um, he told me to go to school sometime, but sometime he said, you want to go to the studio and hang out? Right there. And I said, hell yeah, and he would take advice from just a young pup in the game and listen to me and show me how to be fresh. And I appreciate you, Dr. Dre. I love you for that, man. I wouldn't be here without you. And I'll never forget that. DJ Yeller. Now, Yellow didn't have as much time for us. We was, Yellow was too busy. We was in Yellow way a lot. <laughs> Trey, why you got these youngsters always around? <laughs> but, but, you know, he's become, you know, he, he kept us laughing. He kept us having fun. He kept us remembering that we live in our dream and it's not all that serious all the time. I'm gonna go through these other names a little quicker, but not too quick. Lonzo Williams, thank you for letting us hang at your studio and not kicking us out. Rest in peace, Easy e One of the smartest dudes i ever known. Uh, we wouldn't be here without his vision, without his courage. We wouldn't be here and we miss him a lot. Um, MC Ren. You know, me and Ren the same age, so we we trying to make sense of all this and having fun to say, I see you, Jinx. I just gave it up for you, baby. That's Jinx right there in his mom. Come mama. Yeah, that's right. She used to endure all kind of whack hip hop back in the day. She would not kick us out no matter how whack we I know we was whack, but she would not kick us out she endured that music, and we, we love her, too, for that. Um, Lay Law, I want to give it up for Lay Law for letting a young dog hang with you when you made your runs, man. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Pat Charbonnet. Pat Charbonnet, you know, she the one that really showed me a lot of the game behind the scenes. You know, Pat showed me to make sure I looked at those contracts Make sure that uh, I knew that I was getting what I was worth. I'm gonna be a little, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little faster now. I know y'all know what's happening. We're gonna keep it moving. I gotta do this. You don't get a star on the Walk of Fame every day. 
I want to thank Lee Young, my lawyer. He's been my lawyer for probably before I've been in the music business.